one, did you? Yeah. Girls, just one quick word for question eight. It says, by looking at the expansion of 1 plus x to the n, show this result. Notice that that's highest power is n and so is this. There is no differentiation or integration involved. It just looks like a substitution of x is 1 was done here. Okay? The other thing is you should, did you expand your left-hand side out and then did your substitution and then brought it back to that. Okay? So you do have to do the expansion of this and sub 1 in, etc. With this one, notice we've got 2 to the power of n minus 1. And instead of starting from k is 0 up to n, we start from k is 1 to n, meaning that you've lost the first term. When you differentiate a constant, you lose it. This, there are two hints of differentiating here. 2 to the power of n minus 1 is the hint. The original power was n, the new power was n minus 1. To do this type of question, also there's a k here in front as well, but and this n, to do this type of question, there was differentiation of that involved and also a substitution of x is 1 to get the 2. Okay, so in questions 1 and 2 and 3, they were fairly guided. But this one doesn't guide you. But you are supposed to be able to see the, the signals of what to do. Okay, that you would differentiate here. Now, it says for part B, 8B, hence once those results are proven, you have to show the following. Oh. I wonder if that's a... This is 8b. Hence show that the sum from k is 0 of that of 2 to the n minus 1... All right, I'm thinking. To expand what this left-hand side means, This is k plus 1, not to the power of n, it's k plus 1 times nck. Now, isn't that really, so the sum of terms from k is 0 to n of k plus 1 times nck, would that not be the sum of terms from k is 0 to n of k times that plus 1 times that? And now you can see exactly what to do. Girls, k plus 1 times that is k times that plus 1 times that. Now, that is the result from part 1. Hence, it says hence. So what's the sum of terms? But this is from k is 0. That one's from k is 1. So you'll have to do the 0. No, it's okay. It'll work. So the sum of all terms from k is 0 to n, if you put 0 in here, you're going to get 0 anyway, aren't you? So I'm going to put that that is equal to 0 nc0 plus, so this first one here, see I'm trying to substitute from k is 1. So I'm going to show that it's the same as 0 nc0 plus sum from k is 1 to n of k nck. Do you know why I've done that? Girls, what's the result in 8a part 2? Yeah, yes I can, but look, this one only goes from k is 1 to n, but this one is from k is 0, but when you substitute k is 0, you get 0 anyway, so I'm just breaking this first one up into that. So, girls, look at the difference. That's adding from k is 1 to n. So, let me see, when I substitute k is 0, don't I just get 0 anyway? 0 times nc0 is 0 times 1. The first term is 0. Then, no, if I want to sum from k is 0 to n, it's like doing k is 0 and then summing from k is 1 to n. Because, no, because it was k times that plus 1 times that. That's my expansion. No, this is k plus 1 times that. k times that plus 1 times that. Plus, actually, what I should have here is the sum symbol in, in, in front. Do you get it? Or actually, put a bracket. Right? So, therefore, it is. I know I'm supposed to be doing from k is 1. So I do the 0 term and then from k is 1 to n plus 
the sum from k is 0 to n, 1 times that is nck. Now you substitute your results from part A. No? Girls, I've just done k times that, 1 times that. Because that's an nck, it's not k plus 1 to the power of n. It's k plus 1 times nck. So it's the sum, expand the brackets. I've noticed that this is one off from that result, so I do the zero term plus from 1 to n, break it up. Now, therefore, that's zero plus, the answer to this is n, 2 to the power of n minus 1, plus the answer to this one is 2 to the power of n. Now, can, how can I write 2 to the power of n minus 1? n times 2 to the n times over, over what? Plus 2 to the n. Whoopsie. You got it? What do you do? Common factor? You can factorise it. What are we supposed to show? Common denominator maybe? We're supposed to show that it's 2. I shouldn't have done that. That was a silly thing to do. Wasn't it? Oh no, this is good, this is good. Yeah, let's take out the... But they want 2 to the n minus 1. So that's 2 to the n plus 2 to the n minus 1 plus 1. I'm not going to put it over 2. Yeah, what I might do... Alright, I'll leave it like that. That's okay. Alright, this is what I've got. 2 to the n... Alright, let's just do this. What do you get? Over times n on 2 plus 1. I know it's not what they've got, but we'll get there in a minute. What, um, they want a 2 to the n minus 1 out the front, which I can do. Can I just rub that off, actually? I'll show you. And rub that off. All right. Isn't that the same as 2 to the n minus 1 times n plus, you know how the second term is just a 2? Can't I write that as 2 to the 1? I just had it in my head and I lost it. No, 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 no. I got it. I got it. I got it. No, I'm not finished. 2 to the n minus 1 times n. How do I go from 2 to the n minus 1 to a 2 to the n? Yeah, it is. That's right. Because look, 2 to the n minus 1 times n. Girls, you know when you... I've got it now. When you've got a common factor, don't you pull out, pull out the lowest common factor? Well, n minus 1 is smaller than n. So that's why they're pulling out n minus 1. And n minus 1 is 1 smaller than n. So they go 2 to the power of n minus 1. We've got the n plus 2 to the power of 1. Look. 2 to the n minus 1 plus 1, isn't that just an n? Which is the answer. Which is 2 to the n minus 1, n plus 2. Here? There? Because you're trying to sum from k is 0 to n. But this is summing from k is 1 to n. Now, if you're summing from k is 0, don't you... If I expanded it, wouldn't I write out the first term with k is 0 as my substitution and then k is 1 as my substitution and k is 2? Well, this is my substitution for k is 0 and that is my substitution here from k is 1 upwards. I'm trying to substitute from k is 0 to n. Because this relates to both that and that. N, K, 0, K plus 1 times that. K gets times by that, so does 1. They're all from K is 0. But the problem is the substitution up here is from K is 1. Because the substitution there is K is 0. The substitution for N, C, K starts from K is 0. So the substitution for this one starts from K is 1. So instead of being able to straight put that in, I have to sh do the zero separately. So if you're summing from k is zero to n, you do zero first and then from one to n. 
but they're both meant to go from 0 to n. So this one is going from 0 to n. I've just done 0 separately and then from 1 to n. I've substituted 0, n, c, 0. That's right. But I can do 0 and then say, well, this is from 1 upwards. Why am I doing that? Because that's what the substitution up here is telling me to do. And then this one is from 0. I could have written these out as two separate things if you want me to put the sigma. And then the substitution for this one is from 0. Okay? That's why I broke them up. And then n minus 1 is a lower power than the n. So that's why they've pulled it out. Mathematically, that's more correct to do that. Otherwise, you get a 2 to the minus 1 here if you pull out the n instead. All right, so it's a bit tricky. Look, if you didn't, yes, but mathematically, to make the substitution, it's not right. You're supposed to really show it. You're supposed to prove that result. If you're not asked to prove that result, I probably would have accepted it, but once you're asked to show the result, you've got to show every step. So just adding that zero in front makes it... Makes it, well, allows you to substitute from k is 1. So that's k is 0 substitution, and that's the substitution from k is 1 onwards. Now, I'm only allowed to substitute, use this result from k is 1 onwards. Whereas this one can be substituted from k is 0. So I've then broken this up. Pretty much if it says hence. What other question, girls? I'm going to do trig. I think you've got enough. Integrate this. What do you get? 1 plus x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 times the, diff, the coefficient of the x, which is 1, which is fine. Substitute between 4 and 0. So they question 10a, they asked you to evaluate that. What do you get? You okay with integrating that? 5 to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 to the n plus 1 over n plus 1, which is 5 to the n plus 1 minus 1 over 1 to the n plus 1 is always 1, no matter what, over n plus 1. That's 5, 10a. In B, you had to prove, you had to expand 1 plus x to the n and integrate it and show that the sum, so you had to expand 1 plus x to the n, integrate it and show that the sum from r is 0 to n of 4 to the r plus 1 over r plus 1 times ncr equals 5 to the n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 1. Now you can see what that right hand side is, it's just that. So, we're just going to expand that and integrate it. If you expand and integrate, and then we've got to substitute, we've got to do a correct substitution as well. Because they're integrating from 4 to 0, they're putting values of n, no, x from 4 to 0. Part B, you have to expand this, integrate and show that result. Well, I've expanded it. I've integrated both sides. Don't forget to put plus k on one of the sides. Um, we're going from nc0 up to ncn. Um, we have to work out what k is. If we substitute x is 0 to work out the value of k, we get 1 to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus k is, on the right-hand side, you'll get 0. So therefore k, now 1 to the n plus 1 is always just 1. So 1 over n plus 1 plus k is 0. Therefore k is negative 1 over n plus 1. And so therefore we've got 1 plus x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus k would be minus 1 over n plus 1 equals that expansion that we just worked out. Now, it should just be a matter of doing some substitution. Substitute x. So the sum, 
x is 4. Sub x is 4. Substitute x is 4. You will get on this side 5 to the n plus 1 over n plus 1, same denominator, minus 1, equals 4nc0 plus... No, no, x is 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus 4 squared on 2nc1 plus 4 cubed on 3 and C2 plus etc. See you later girls. Plus 4 to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 and C n. That should be of some format. And the format appears to be n C R 4 to the Yes, it is. If you look at that, it's NC something. See, isn't that um, NC2, 4 to the 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1? So it's NCR, it is, it's what they've got there, 4 to the R plus 1 over R plus 1 NCR, summing from R is 0 to N. So what, once you've got what you've got, wait, once you've got, sorry, what you want, what you can see, Look at what they're trying to get you to prove and see if your thing here, your series, follows that result. And if you look at NC1, for example, when R is 1, don't you get 1 R, yeah, R is 1, don't you get 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 1 is 2, that works. Look at when NC2, when R is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 1 is 3, it looks correct. So that is that. Starting from R is 0 through to R is N. So, no, it's just R or K. No. You've got enough to do homework, I think, and you've got enough to do.